Hey guys, Super Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Jolly Bees Phase 2. Now, I played the original Jolly Bees. I didn't actually make videos on the channel for it, but I did incorporate it into a video of what I believed were the best Five Nights at Freddy's fan games ever made. So it obviously was a game that left quite an impression on me, despite it being a little too frustrating for my tastes. I did find the original a little too hard, which is why I didn't do a full series on it. Now, with this game, I thought I'm going to test it out on my own time, and then I thought, no, you know what? I'll do a video on the channel and see how it goes. And so I will leave a link down below if you guys want to try it out, it is a free download. But with that said, let's dive in, see how this game goes, and see what Jolly Bees Phase 2 has to offer. Uh, hello? How's it going? Uh, I'm sorry I had to fill in for my shifts. You probably heard about the new shipments that just came in today. Uh, they came from the, uh, Jolly Bees restaurant right across the street. It's a shame they had to close down for some reason. I heard that something was stinging up the place and they had to shut it down because of health code violations. Animatronics had to be shipped for investigation. Now, this is where we come in. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll guide you along the way. This looks confusing. Don't damage the shipments. <laughs> Nobody. This already looks confusing, guys. Uh, this is the warehouse management interface. Okay. This is basically the control panel for the entire facility. Uh, in this screen, you can buy upgrades or work on extra jobs to increase the warehouse's stat. So it's like Pizzeria Simulator all over again. Uh, once you're ready, click on the button. So basically, guys, this looks like we're going to have a lot of equipment to use, which is already kind of scaring me because the original was hard enough, and I feel like this game's going to be even harder. It seems like it's going to be like Five Nights at Freddy's 6, you know, Pizzeria Simulator, where obviously as time went on we could upgrade all our tools, so to speak, and make the game easier or harder as we wished. So we've got jobs here, which we can't click on yet, a shop, which we can't click on yet. We're going to have to start the shift and see how this goes, I think. Here we go, night one. It's a bit okay, different to so the original, by the look of it. Your job as a night shift guard is to make sure that the shipments go to their proper careers. Okay. You can do this by heading over to the left side of the office okay. and opening the workstation panel. The Here we go. The left side of the screen is the conveyor belt module. Mm -hmm. If you turn it on, it's going to bring in boxes that you need to put onto their corresponding track. Ah, here we go. You can switch the track that the boxes will lead to. So move the correct the box to the correct track. thing. Oh. I see. Uh... So, this one to B. Oh, it has to be on. Great, uh, okay. This one to B. I get it. So we move the correct boxes to the correct sort of, uh, conveyor. Great. You're in the uh, uh, exit. Turn it off for now, but remember to turn it on after I oriented you. <laughs> okay. Uh, on the right side of the screen is where you'll see the security monitor. This is where you'll be able to, well, monitor what's going on with the facility. Uh, okay. You can use the motion detectors in the cameras to keep track of what's going on, but I'd stick to the motion detectors if I were you. The cameras do have a lot of blind spots around the We can place. hide down there as well. <laughs> and if any of the systems go offline for any reason, you can use the maintenance panel on the far right side of the office. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll leave everything. So we reboot these now, so that they're like fully stable again, I guess. Fire, all right. Like that. Alright, good luck. Oh, we've got a flashlight as well. You have one. You there we go. To listen to your messages. Doesn't last one. very long. Hello, and thank you for accepting our shipments in line with the inspection that will occur in our establishment. This voice memo is offered to you as a reminder on how to guard our animatronic robots on their way to be shipped. The animatronics cannot be turned off for diagnostic reasons. As such, they are programmed to find the nearest room occupied by people for maximum entertainment value. To make sure they don't run into your office and cause trouble, you can use the company-issued audio alert mechanism, which you can find installed in your system's workstation panel under the security tab. If you'd like to take okay. extra precaution, you can control the animatronics momentarily by clicking the hack button to view the hacking module. Please keep in mind that the effects of the hacking mechanism are expected to wear off momentarily as the robot's firewall feature will block you from taking control temporarily. If the animatronics are somehow able to find their way in front of you, you can shine your light into their faces, causing them to do a system restart. Right, that okay. Work, please make use of any office obstructions like hiding under your desk until they go away. Okay. Do not tamper with the animatronic robots as we will not hesitate on suing your establishment for any damages found on the units. Thank you for your cooperation. Right, so 
there's a lot of information to take in there, guys. I was letting you guys listen to it as well. Um, but I think, you know... Oh, God. I think we've kind of got, like, a general idea of what to do here. I don't know if I took it all in. Um, but we have to move these boxes to the correct places. Um, I don't know how long we have to do this for. No, what the heck? It doesn't always, it doesn't always snap to it. I think they could have made it, uh snap to these points a little bit easier um, right we need to go back and we need to test the flashlight to make sure nobody is in the doorway oh my flashlight's out okay that's not good let's reboot this come on quicker nice okay good we haven't got a flashlight yet we're gonna go back and start moving some more of these panels back I really want this night to be over, like super quick. Okay. No, what the heck? It doesn't snap to it, man. It's like really, this is really janky, this part. I, I'm not gonna lie. This does not always feel that good to play. Okay. All right, I'm gonna move one more box down. I'm gonna pause it again, okay? Oh, we got, we got to do 50 of them. I've just realized, guys. Okay, let's go back and do some more. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Oops. Uh, A. B, here we go. E. Oh no, what the heck? Where did that even come from? Popo killed you. Shine your light in a timely fashion to make him go away. Ah, so we just need to keep checking a little bit more than we were, I guess. Okay, guys, so we're playing... Uh again and this time I've kind of worked out that we need to lure the um, various animatronics away with this audio device. We've also got a camera tool. We can switch to the camera tool um, or we should be able to in a minute um, switch to the camera tool to check out where they oh hello we've got an error okay no one's there let's uh, repair it reboot not responding. Come on, reboot. Quicker. Good. Close that. And let's have a check. Can we see anyone? No. Good. Okay. Let's put that there. Conveyor back on. Um, oops. There we go. Man, this is tricky. This game is weird. It's very different to the original. Like, I respect that he, the developer, has, like, made a different kind of game, for sure. Let's see if we've got any uh, activity there. Oh, hello. No signal. Okay, there's a camera in the south wing. That needs sorting out. Oh, get away, get away, get away. Shall I hide? I'm gonna hide, guys. Are we safe? I don't know. Surely we're okay now, right? Just calm down. The breathing is stopping. Okay. We're going to lure them away with the audio. So play the audio there. This should work, right? I mean, I hope so. I don't know. We've almost done it. We've almost got 50. <laughs> Come on. Just let me do this. Right, I'm going. I'm going to check the room once more. There's no one there. Oops, 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 oops. Okay. Keep it going. We've got to keep this going. We've got to keep this train going. Nope, too early. Okay, back into C. Here we go. Does that mean someone's in the room? Can't see anyone. Let's keep going. Oh no, we need to we need to sort this out. Reboot. Okay, good. I've got no torch still. Okay, let's get the audio going. Shift complete. Ah, there we go. We had one more delivery to do. Okay, guys. Well, that is uh, 
Night one done. Total revenue, 950. Not bad, not bad. I mean, probably wouldn't keep a business running on that, but it's okay. You have unlocked the jobs and shop section. Great. <laughs> so, more stuff to make it even more complicated. There's a shop? Oh, where you can actually get, like, FNAF goodies. Look, you can get the Bonnie action figure. The foxy head. Um, we have no idea how the Freddy mask got here. There you go, look at that. 1,000, that is. Um, what do these actually do, though? Are they just, like, little bonus unlockables, or do they actually help us during gameplay? Not really sure. Could buy the Bonnie action figure for 500 and, like, find out if it does anything, I guess. I've bought that. I don't know what that does. Um, let's take a look at box checking, I guess, maybe. Check logistic information and filter out boxes with the incorrect data. Man, that is going to be tricky, right? I just feel like this is going to be hard. If you hear breathing, hold your breath and don't flash your light. Okay. Accept boxes if their info matches with the one displayed on the panel. Reject if it doesn't. Okay. So, uh, that's correct. As far as I can see. Um, that's correct. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. Uh, shit. Oh my god, I got got already. Okay, so we can't sort of dilly dally here. You know, we've got to be quick. Uh, we've got to be quick here, guys. I just was looking at the Shinra thing. I'm, I've been playing the Final Fantasy VII Remake. It's really good. I was looking at the Shinra name and thinking, hey, that's Final Fantasy VII. I really want to get back to that right now. <laughs> um, let's, uh, let's go back in, guys, and see what happens. See if we can uh, sort this out. Start shift. Night two. Oh, we just failed that. Okay. So now we've got our little Bonnie plushie on the desk. That was a mini game then. I guess like, I guess this is the the main thing, right? And the mini games are the little things we get to select afterwards. This is kind of a confusing game right now. Like, I don't know what to make of it. Like, I like elements of it for sure, but we've got to get seventy five boxes moved. I mean, that's quite a task, and. I don't fully understand. Oh goodness! I don't fully understand like how everything is meant to sort of work yet. Like I, I understand it, but it seems kind of like oh, I like it seems hard. I don't know to get it to all uh, to get it to all work. Oh, I got got. I think for today, guys, that is where I'm going to leave it. I've done one night and one mini game, which I failed. I do have a hard time playing some of these games, especially these FNAF fan games. Like, I kind of find it hard to sometimes do a commentary while I play them. I need to just be, like, super focused. Um, so I might not do another part to this. I just wanted to show you guys what it's like. It's definitely very different to the original Jollibees. And as I say, I have made a video looking at some FNAF fan games last year. So if you're interested in kind of having a look at what my personal favorite FNAF games that I've played are based on the original series, then take a look at that by all means. I probably won't continue and make this into a full series because from what I've played of it, it just seems like a game that's going to frustrate me. And if I do play through it, I'd probably do it on my own time. Because uh, generally, I'm not obviously a Let's Play channel. I just like to play the odd game. Uh, here and there for you guys to fill in between the other videos that I make. So with that said, this has been a first look at Jollibee's Phase 2. It is available free to download if you want to try it yourself. It's not a bad game, it's certainly got a good presentation to it, but it just seems a little finicky and frustrating for my liking. But with that said guys, thanks for watching today. If you did enjoy the video, remember to like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one.